Okay, I'm printing you down. There we go. So you're a witness. You're a witness. This is my couple. I'm the officiant. All right. Hello. If, is this everybody you're expecting? Yes. Okay. All right. Let me see if I can do this. Okay. My name is Ben Free. I am a deputy clerk with Utah County, authorized to do marriages. I've been doing marriages for a little over three and a half years at that this point in time. When I started, we were just doing in office weddings. And prior to COVID 2019, we had worked on and soon thereafter had realized that we could do remote weddings because we have no residency requirements in the state of Utah. Okay. A lot of other states have residency requirements. You have to live in the state for six months before you can get married, or you have to do this, or you have to do that, or whatever. Ours is pretty open. And so we started doing then what we called remote weddings. Remote weddings means you're joining us remotely. But I can, you know, if you were to stick your tongue out at me, I could see that, you know. If, you know, if I start coughing, you could hear that. You know, we can see each other and what's going on. So I have some challenges for the two of you to start off with. Okay, mm -hmm. but welcome to your marriage day today. Okay, so Asraf yes. and Marina, the two yes. of you found each other out of 10.3 billion people on this planet and you fell in love with each other. Do you know what the odds of that are? Really, 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 really small. Okay, so, but here's my challenge. I challenge you, Ashraf to, and Marina to go to choose each other each day and choose to be happy, okay? Happy is a choice. It's not something that you just do, it's a choice. You can choose to be happy or you can choose to be angry or grumpy or whatever, but choose to be happy. So choose each other each day and choose to be happy. Next, I challenge you to go on a date at least once a week, okay? That's... <clears throat> Okay, that's the two of you going together. Now, the next challenge is a little is about the same as this last one I just offered you, which is I challenge you, Ashraf, to take Maria, Marina someplace where you would like to go. Why am I challenging you to, to do that? Because when you get there, you can explain to her why you like it. It will help her to understand your heart better. Likewise, Marina, I challenge you to take Ashraf someplace where you would like to go. Again, the same reason. So that you can explain to him why you like it and so that he can understand your heart better. So you do that yeah, maybe like every quarter, every four months. You go someplace where you want to go, someplace where she wants to go. And why do I say that? Because you learn a lot from each other by doing that. So anyway, but you're still going on a date each week, but this is an extra date. You're going to go someplace and even if it's sitting in the cold watching a game from a high stadium whatever it is uh you know sports thing or whatever whether you like it or not that's irrelevant it just helps you to understand his heart and it helps him to understand your heart the way you do it and you maybe you marina are taking him to a favorite dress shop you probably have a shop that you like to go in and check to see what the to see what the uh, current fads are and so you walk through and you look at it and then you've really never stopped and really done anything. But if you take him with you to the store, you can try an address and he can say, yeah, that dress doesn't flatter you. You try another one. Oh, that flatters you a little better. I like that one better. Okay. Then you try another one. Oh, wow. That really flatters you, but I don't like the color. So then you're looking for a different color in that style. Okay. So you find one and you put it on. Now, you know, Maria, that you are Marina, you know now that you look wonderful and amazing. So every time you wear that dress, you're going to be wonderful and amazing. So if you had bought the dress yourself and had taken it home and said, hey, I bought a new dress. Let me try it on for you. So you try it on. How's this look on me? Nice. Wrong answer. Okay. Try the color. Uh, how's the color? Fine. See, that's not good that way. But the, doing it the other way, it works because he helped to pick it out. So it's wonderful and amazing. And you know, you'll be wonderful and amazing every time you put it on. Okay, so go on a date at least once a week. Okay, do fun things together. Next. Really? Okay, you both work. Okay, so because you both work, often we have experiences at work that make us angry or upset. Why is that? Well, because people just don't understand each other. So let's say the boss comes in and he says, I thought I told you to do that yesterday. How come you're doing it today? Uh, blah, blah. You know, and he, really what he did is he forgot 
to tell you to do it yesterday. <laughs> okay, so you're saying, well, I'm doing it today because I didn't get the message yesterday. Well, I told you yesterday. And they said, well, I'm sorry. It must have slipped my mind then. But anyway, so if it makes you angry. So how do you know you're angry? Because your voice level comes up to angry mode. Okay, so it just sounds uglier and meaner and whatever. And that's how you know you're angry. You need to not take angry home with you. Angry is an emotion. I label it angry as a he. Okay, but he's an emotion. He's not his spirit. He's not anything else. He's just an emotion. And you don't, he wants to come home and go to bed with you too. And that the answer is no. There's not enough room in bed for you, Asraf and Marina, and anger. So kick anger out. You have to find some way to do that that works for you too. Some people tap and say, even though they said I'm this or this, I, and you say positive words of affirmations to yourself to help get rid of it, that works for some people. My wife and I are swipers. So we hold each other's hands. Okay, then we turn, I turn around, she takes her hand and she goes to the top of my head, out my backside, okay, fast three times. I do it to her fast three times every morning and every night. That's a way to do it. Exercise is also another way to get rid of angry. You go for a walk together outside in whatever the weather is, someplace where you get to walk around and look at the nature, see the change of the leaves, the flowers, the whatever, whatever's coming on or whatever's leaving, okay? And as you do that, it helps to dispel anger, okay? So that's another way. You can meditate, okay? You can also use um, aerobics exercises to get rid of anger. There's, yeah. And they, and they have a wand too that you can get and you have different size pots and you just run around the top and it makes a pitch. And then it goes lower and lower and lower and lower. So you're pulling it out, okay? So that works too for some people. Find something that works for you. If it's eating a whole half gallon of ice cream and then wrapping up in a blanket because you cold and can't, can't do anything else, that's okay as long as it knocks the anger out, okay? Whatever it takes to get rid of angry because angry should not be in there, okay? All right, next. All right, you have strengths and weaknesses, okay? Um, but right now I wanna talk about, don't treat each other as an object. You love each other, you like each other, you need each other, you want each other, and you protect each other. That's your, you're moving to this position because you're getting married today, all right? So you do nice things for each other, but you're not an object to be put on display. You're not a project to fix. Unfortunately, if you're, you two are fires, every one of us on here is a fire, we leave a mark or make an impression upon every person that we meet, okay? Hopefully it's a good mark. Hopefully it's a good impression. Hopefully you're not leaving garbage where we go. The idea is here, we're making things better. So you're being fire builders, building people up instead of being fire fighters and putting people out, okay? And the two of you are cleaving together to become a unit of one. All right, so you're not, a, you're not an object, you're not a project, and lastly, you're not a task. There are some tasks that have to be done right away. For example, I know that one time we walked into a church house and we could see smoke coming out of the kitchen. Okay, so we, <clears throat> we opened the door, crawled down on the floor, we got in there and the room was filled with smoke, but here's what was going on. The toaster, there had been a toaster left plugged in to the wall and it was shorting out, causing a fire. And we unplugged it, we opened up the door, let the, tried to let the smoke out, dissipate, so it didn't turn off, turn on the automatic fire extinguishers, okay? And we saved the church house from burning down because of that. So that's something that had to be done right then. It's not something we could say, oh, I'll be back in an hour, we'll, you know, we'll look at it then. No, it had to be done right then. Same as if a, like a water line breaks in your house. You don't want to just run and run and run and run and run and run. You want to turn the water off so you can get it fixed so that you're not running water. And if you're in the middle, you know, if you're a floor above somebody else, you're going to flood them out down below. Okay. Water always goes downhill. Okay. So you want that's something that has to be done right away. But most tasks you can just schedule into your day and put them there and get them accomplished and have a wonderful day. All right. So you know those things, your strengths. Okay. Your strengths, Ashraf, are Marina's weaknesses, but Marina, your strengths are Ashraf's weaknesses. But the two of you, 
complete each other, you complement each other, and you cleave together. Okay, so that's what you're doing with marriage. Okay, uh, wingy pumin is there as well. Okay, didn't put a check mark by her. All right, so and I didn't check to see where you're at. See if you're on a computer or just what. So I should have done that too. Mira, 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 mira. Let's see. Yep. Um, it's a little late now, but I could have had you start recording your ceremony, but I'll just <clears throat> say we'll send it to you, okay? Of your ceremony. Because you're on a computer. Okay. I didn't even think about looking at that at the time. Okay. So anyway, I got send recording down. Okay. So now we're actually going to go into more. Okay. Last challenge, I challenge you to learn each other's love languages. They tell us we all have the same love languages in our hearts. However, we have different modalities we like to be served them. So it's your job, Marina, Marina, to learn what Ashraf's favorite love languages are and the modality he likes to be served them. Because if we serve each other in the wrong modality, then it's the same as if there was no gift given. So the message isn't getting through. Same with you. Um, Ashraf, you're learn you need to learn Marina's favorite love languages and the modality she likes to be served them. So serve each other in your favorite love languages. Often, but not always. Always gets boring. You don't like to be boring. You want life to be fun and exciting, not boring. Okay, so make it fun and exciting. Do fun things to keep your marriage life active and responsive to each other's needs and help each other to be your best. Okay? All right. Having said that, we are now ready to go into your ceremony. This is the part you've been waiting for. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here we go. So we're gathered here today to join in marriage. Ashraf, Suleiman, Ahmad, Jibril, and Marina Maramar. Okay. So Ashraf, Suleiman, Ahmed, Jibril, do you take Marina Maramar? to be your legally and lawfully wedded wife, to cleave unto her as she cleaves unto you, to help her be her best as she helps you to be your best, to obey her as she obeys you. That's two-way street. Through sickness, health, rich, poor, fat, thin, COVID-22, I call it like it is. It's not 2019. 22 is almost over as a year. All right, COVID-22. Wars, riots, natural disasters, ups, downs, ins, outs, Holidays, celebrations, jubilations, triumph, family, friends, nature, until death you depart. Yes, I do. Perfect. Okay. So, Wing Yi Poon, you heard yes? Yes, I do. Okay. And K Yi Lei, you heard yes? I didn't, can't hear you. Uh, yes, uh, I can. Okay, perfect. Yes, yes, you heard. Okay, perfect. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. So, okay, they said yes. Now, do you have any vows or promises, Ashraf, to say to Mar Marina today? Yeah, sure. And do you have a ring to put on her finger? Yes. Okay, so say your vows and put the ring on her finger. Okay. I promise you, as I told you all the time, that you will be with me and I will make you the happiest woman ever. In the good, in the bad terms, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And this is only for you. And I am the one who will protect you, whatever it happens. So you don't have to be afraid from anything. Mm -hmm. What about what is mine is yours? <laughs> <laughs> and there is one thing all the time. What mine is yours, what's yours is yours. Okay. So this, is <laughs> <laughs> ah. this is it's been a like while. It. It's been a while since I've heard that. What mine yeah. is yours <laughs> and what's yours is yours. So everything's yours. Uh, this so is that makes, works. Yeah, that, that makes you, that makes him yours. Okay. <laughs> All right, perfect. All right. My witnesses heard that in the affirmative and put the ring on the finger. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to go to you, Marina. Maramar, do you take Ashraf Suleiman Ahmed Jibril to be your legally and lawfully wedded husband to cleave unto him as he cleaves unto you to help him be his best as he helps you to be your best to obey him as he obeys you through sickness health rich poor fat thin COVID 22 blah 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 until death you depart yes I do perfect 
Okay, did you have a ring to put on his finger today? Yes. Okay, put the ring on his finger and say your vows to him, please. And Wing Yi and Kei Yi, you both heard her yes. say yes. Okay, perfect. Now say your vows. Okay, Asha, I promise to love you, to take care of you, to respect you, and to always be on your side and support you, whatever it happens in our life. And I will try to make our life happier day by day and make you happier as much as I can. Awesome. Just a reminder, happiness is a state of mind. So he has to choose to be happy. He can also choose to be angry. And no matter what you do, it's not going to make him happy. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, he's got to choose to be happy. Okay. That's why that was one of my first challenges. Choose each other and choose to be happy. All right. Congratulations. All right. So, Wing Yi Poon and K Yi Lei, you heard yes in the affirmative on those? Yes, I did. Okay. Perfect. Now, because I heard you say yes to each other willingly, and because Wing Yi Poon and K Yi Lei also heard you say yes to each other willingly, I now get to say this. By the authority vested in me by the laws of the state of Utah, and since you also joined us remotely here in our health and justice building, I now pronounce you Ashraf, Suleiman, Ahmad, Jibril, and Marina, Maramar, legally and lawfully married as husband and wife. You may now hug and kiss each other as such. Awesome. Congratulations. Now, you. Yeah, you're only my you're only my uh, third wedding today, but that's the best kiss I've had all day. Okay. <laughs> so, you Thank know, you. Okay, congratulations. Thanks all right, make lot. it a wonderful life. Now, the rest of the story is we will finalize your license. Today is Wednesday, probably on Friday. We'll get it finalized. When we do that, we will send you a certified email copy. Please check mm -hmm. it over. Line by line, letter by letter, making sure everything is spelled correctly. Uh, the address is a good address where we can ship you your certified paper copy of your marriage license. If you need an apostille, you're both in the same country right now, but you might need an apostille to stay together. I don't know that. If you do find out from your government what you need, you can order one. It's further down on our website, marriage at utahcounty.gov. It'll say apostille and you can order it. Okay. And that takes. Um, it takes about a week because we mail it up to our governor's office up in Salt Lake City. It's only 50 miles away, but they let it sit for four or five days. So it's COVID free, and hopefully. Okay. And then they work on it and then they ship it out. And you'll be paying for the shipping fee for it, as well as there's a small fee for the work that they have to do to get that all together for you. But they'll mail it to you. When you get it, please put it someplace where it's seen but not seen. I know that makes no sense. But if I say the sun is not to see the document, okay, so you're putting it behind a picture or something because the sun will blister the paper and it will take the raised seal. It, I've seen those fall out because they've been exposed to sunshine and then it's no longer a legal binding document. So you want to put it where it's not seen by the sun, but where you know where it is because you have x-ray vision and you can look through the picture or the item or the vase or the container or whatever it's in. Okay, and know that it's there. It just reminds you how to treat the rest of the world because the rest of the world isn't as happy as you are. Okay, and so they want to make you miserable, but your family and friends will support you. Okay, it's the other people that's out there that are negligible. Okay, so we don't want anything like that, but it'll help you to remind you that you're married and how to treat them so they're not breaking into your house. Now, you both work. Okay, and so when you have anger, you've got to displace it. So find something that works for you and use it all the time to keep anger at bay because anger is emotion. You don't want angry to go into bed with you. I say he's a he. He has a he energy, but he's not a spirit. He's not anything. He's just an emotion. Okay, you can kick him out of your house. So you do something to do that, such as, you know, the, some of the things I had said. Okay. And even going out on a date together can help kick angry out because it <clears throat> puts you back in the frame of reference of love and kindness, okay, and happiness, okay? Congratulations. Make it a wonderful life. Do you have any questions for me? 
No, thank you. No, thank you. You're trying to listen to me talking? Okay, good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you for taking time out, my witnesses. <clears throat> okay. I'll now let you go back to work. Like, I have authority to let you go back to work? Really? Okay. But anyway, yes. Thank you for joining us. And we couldn't have married them without you. So thank you for being there and being supportive. All right. Thanks Bye so. now. Congratulations. Bye. Thank you so much. Right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll close off the meeting and we will send you a recording when we send you that paper copy or when you Thank send. You so usually we send it when we send the email copies. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll send you the recording of it. Okay. All Thank right. You.